What's going on, Shaniac? How are you doing this fine evening? It is Friday night, and I am in my old hometown of Makokata, Iowa. I'm actually going to be meeting up with some friends from high school tonight, which is kind of incredible, but there's a gun show here in town. And uh, so we're going to meet up, get some dinner, and then go down to the gun show. I've never been to one before. I don't know what to expect. I am not pro-gun. I am not anti-gun. Uh, so there you go. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So let's go have some fun. So yeah, this is where we're going to meet up tonight, per exactly. Kind of a weird name, but I hear they got the best tenderloin around.
so today I went out to mail a package to Chandra and look at this weather. Uh, I think this is Mother Nature's last hurrah, God willing. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 50 degrees, Monday it's supposed to be 60 degrees. So we will be dumpster diving tomorrow, unfortunately not today. But uh, that's all good. I want to get my, my latest video uploaded, which is the You Talk Too Much video. So anyway, heading home. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Shaniacs. How is everybody out there today? It is Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning, and it is 32 degrees. It's going to get up to 30, no, 40. It's gonna get up in the 40s today. It was supposed to be in the 50s, but they lied. But tomorrow it's supposed to be in the 60s. So anyway, we are gonna see the snow go away, and we are gonna go do some dumpster diving today. Okay, of course, we're going to start with my favorite dumpster here. Look at that. That is the snow melting. Yay! Oh no! Seriously? Sugar! See, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm going to just find nothing but snow-covered trash. Cut this cord. Too bad that's empty. Oh wow, check that out though. There's some brass. Nice. Drill bits there. Oh, that long one right there. Holy cow, that's a long boy. All right. Some good little drill bits there. A socket. What is that? Some type of pipe. Well, there's a there's a tap. Wow. All right, I'm gonna grab that stuff up out of here. So this is everything I pulled out of there. There's a wood stain marker. Nice pair of uh, titanium scissors. Uh, of course, drill bits up the wazoo. I even got this big old extension thing here putting your uh, bits in and this nice big piece of brass so yeah haul this out of that one dumpster not a bad haul at all there's some electrical boxes down there Okay, so, got a few of these in here. Got some weight to them, that's for sure. Little bandy 
Hold on a second. Those could be... They are some type of guides, those books. I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab Pokey here. And, uh, see what they're about. SP21 Professional Two-Way Radio Service Manual. That may have some value. I can see that we can work 10 bucks to somebody out there who needs it or who wants it. Okay, so I'm still going on this dumpster, but these are all Motorola radio, ra radio manuals. Like if you were someone that knew electronics and how to solder and stuff like that, these are the manuals you'd use. And so far, I don't know, I've probably got close to 30. I don't know, but then, and there are these radio uh, clear plastic uh, Ziploc bags. I got two of those. My first was for someone. But yeah, these manuals, um, they're just, you know, chock full of these manuals. And uh, then there was two of these, I guess they're soldering irons and this one metal base that holds it. Now, I don't know how to test these because this is what the end looks like. So, I don't know, they're probably no good. But there's two of them there. Might be able to sell them as parts or with that, you know, maybe somebody out there needs that piece, I don't know. And I got a black marker, but yeah, there's the rest of those bags I'm gonna send to a special someone that does jewelry. No shit. What do you think, guys? <laughs> oh my god, check it out. There's canes. There's a walker, which is all aluminum. Holy cow. What do you think? I think I'll save this for a mystery box. I won't even open it until we get home. I'm thinking nuts and bolts. Definitely has a metallic sound. Hope it's money, but uh, we will not open it until we get home. Oh, I can't believe that was even in there. All right, so definitely gonna grab the walker. You know, that's aluminum. Not sure if they're both aluminum or not, but at least they're metal. Figure that out when the pad comes. All right, not a bad haul. So, <laughs> that place, I pulled that stuff out of the dumpster there, those canes and walker and stuff, and this woman's walking up to put her trash in, and she's looking at me like, oh God, here's a homeless man. <laughs> so anyway, I think that's going to do it. Uh, let's go home. I want to see what's in this metal mystery box. I want to look at some of those manuals. Okay, guys, so what I did is I grabbed a handful of manuals. I guess I grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six manuals. Just, uh, just random selections of the manuals to see what they're going for. So this first one is a Radius, Motorola Radius. I don't see this exact book on there, but these books are going between 10 and $15 a piece. And then this one here, there's only one on eBay. None have sold, but there's only one like this, and he's asking 25 bucks for this thing. So that's pretty good so far. This Motorola Manual Max Track 800, the, uh, the, only, the, the one that's exactly like it, again, the guy's asking 20 bucks for best offer and free shipping. Probably the same guy's got this one on there for 20 bucks and again, free shipping. But not, again, none have sold. This exact one is not on there, but there is a Motorola CDM 1550, um, which this could possibly cover that. That did sell for 990, or it has sold for 995 and free shipping. And lastly, this exact one is being, they're asking $22 plus shipping on it, but again, none have sold. So in the last three months, I don't think any of those have sold, but they're ranging from $10 to $20. Now, here's the kicker. These sell pre-owned a hundred dollars here is one of these with this right oh 
whatever, like that, whatever it is. Um, untested. Soldering iron and stand, not tested, sold for $81 in free shipping. Holy cow. So we have two and the stand. That's easily $100 that we pulled out of the dumpster today just on the soldering irons. Now, on the books, I'd say you're going to average 10 bucks a piece times, I think there was 42 books I counted. That's $420 potentially. So, you know, I found a bunch of these in the dumpster. I grabbed a handful, and uh, because they are a Ferrari, guy's business card is in there. But you know, there's the front of it. It opens it up, and there's your Ferrari California T. It's you know, it's an invitation. You are invited to discover the world of Ferrari. And this is Continental Ferrari, and oh, it's in oh, it's in Illinois. But would somebody buy would somebody buy literature like this? I don't know. But let's get to the mystery box. Okay, guys, I have not opened this up. I hope it's full of coins. Let's see what it is. Are you ready? One, two, three. What the hell? <laughs> ball in a sock. <laughs> How freaking disappointing is this? <laughs> a half-used bungee cord. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Imagine how big that freaking dog must have been that wore this thing. Oh no, it's oh no, I see what's going on here. It's just a it's just a chain. Okay. Wow. Pet owner's portfolio. Pepper was a Siberian Husky. Man, that is so disappointing. You hear metal jingling around in there and you go, all right. How disappointing was that? It's a little metal comb, it's probably aluminum. Well, I'm gonna be selling this online. I could probably get 10 bucks for the metal thing. The rest of this is going to go in the trash. But uh, these I'm probably going to send on to Chandra. So let me know, Chandra, if you want this stuff. Well, guys, that was kind of disappointing. The mystery box, man, I thought for sure it would be nuts and bolts. I thought for sure it would be. You know, maybe even, I, I didn't think it would be coins, because I didn't think anybody would just randomly throw away something like that. But I sure, certainly did not think it was, like, chains. So, anywho, uh, we definitely made out on the soldering irons. There's definitely 100 bucks there for only going out for a couple hours today. That was a good, good deal. The books, I still don't know what to do with the books. And then, if you have any thoughts on this, uh, this Ferrari uh, invitation thing, I have... 10, 15 of them. Uh, you know, if you have any thoughts on those, let me know. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for, for liking and subscribing and the giving me the old thumbs up button and all that good stuff. We will definitely see you soon at the next dumpster. Take care, everybody. Have a good day.